Oh, there. Fish, fish on. Get some sunshine on him. Fish on. Woo -hoo -hoo! This is what it's all about right here. Oh, and bam. He grabbed it right in front of me. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Vince Goes Fishing. Today you're in for a real treat. Today I packed my waders and my boots in my backpack so we could scale that cliff. Now that we're at the bottom of it, we're gonna gear up. Our second challenge of the day is to get past this bottleneck. Usually we can get past it at a one foot tide, but since we just had these huge storms come through the whole month of January, it's ripped out tons of sand. The beach is a lot deeper, so we might even need a lower tide to get past that bottleneck. We're gonna see how, just how low it's gotta be to get past it. But once we're past it, we're gonna make a break for it. We're gonna run for about 20 minutes to get to our favorite spot on the beach. So today we're primarily targeting halibut. Seems like a weird time to target halibut, but the theory is there's always some halibut in the shallows looking for an opportunity to spawn. So last time Gary and I were here was exactly one year ago, almost to the day, and I caught a 30.5 inch halibut. So we've got some pretty big boots to fill today. Our hopes are high. But at the same time, no expectations. Let's just go enjoy the beach. Oh, there. Fish, fish on. Oh, there. Fish, fish on. Oh, there. Fish, fish on. No way. Yeah, right. We're super shallow, dude. Up close. I think it's a perch. Big perch on a five out swim bait. Hooked right in the bottom lip. Look at that on a five inch swim bait, you guys, with a five out hook. Yes, guys, you can catch perch with the Texas rig. What a beautiful little fish. Get some sunshine on him. All right, back in the water. So today I'm using the 3 8 ounce Battlestar XLS hook with a five inch rib bait. I like white. I really like to fish white. And you can see how far those things cast, really far. All right, so we're waiting out to try to get to that bottleneck so we can see if we, if we can cross it yet. The tide is still too high. I don't think we're gonna be able to cross it yet, but we won't know unless we try. As we walk out towards that point there, you can see the water crashing on the cliff and the waves are breaking on the bluff behind me. This might still be a little too rough. So we're gonna decide we're gonna wait a little bit, even if it's 20 minutes, so we can easily get across. So 11.30 a.m. is one foot. But I'd like to cast close to those rocks if I can. Come on, baby, come on. Gary told me his twin brother, Casper Kazazian, caught a 33-inch white sea bass right here. Slow down, slow down, and just wait for that thump. Whoa. I'm gonna try a long cast all the way to those rocks now. All the way out. Oh yeah, we are in the rocks. That's a really long cast. I think I'm in the rocks. Yeah, I can feel the rocks. So, okay, now let it sink, let it sink, let it sink. I think I just pulled right off into the rock. Just slow down and let it sink. Is there a angry fish in the mix over there somewhere? Right next to you. All right, yeah, we're okay. We can wait. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I fell over right as that wave passed. It actually looks totally doable. Oh, but I'm getting wet. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna get wet though. Dude, there's sand right there in the cave. Let's go in there. <laughs> we don't want to go you in. You don't think so? Dude, we'll get <laughs> killed in there. It's like Baywatch shit, dude. Oh my God, here comes a little wave. There's sand. There's sand in the cave. It's kind of deep, dude. Okay, rocks. Shit, go. I'm trying. Dude, the current, bro. Did we climb? Can you get up? Oh, no. I don't think so, dude. Oh, fucking crazy. Oh. Yeah, it's easier to go around, dude. Go, go, go. There's no waves. There's no waves. Oh, shit. I'm down. I fell. Oh. 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 oh, my God. Don't lose anything. Don't lose a GoPro. Whatever you do, we made it. Oh my God. Holy shit. Damn, that was hard work. Woo. My heart is pounding, dude. Completely drenched. Water down my waders. I went down several times. Holy shit. There were deep holes as waves were coming by. That was intense. 
Guess what? We still have one more bottleneck to get around. Oh my gosh, Gary. Look at him. Spider monkey. This is what aliens do, guys. This is an alien in his natural element. The whole time this is going on, I'm casting at those rocks right there. I'm fishing. He's made, he's across, he's made it. <laughs> yeah, but can you get back down? <laughs> you can before if you need to. I'm just gonna try to walk around. I'm gonna go for it right now, right after this wave. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Rocks, rocks, rocks. It's deep, dude. Oh my God, I gotta get across this thing around this thing. If a wave comes right now, It'll just help wash me up onto the beach. I made it! Oh, don't talk too soon. Don't speak too soon. Here comes a wave. Okay. I made it! Oh my god, that was intense. This is not good. We should not do this anymore. He's trying to figure out how to get off that rock and to the beach. Maybe I'll get ready to give him a hand. Go, Gary, go! You can do it! You're good, you're good, you're good! Run for your life! You yeah. Oh, <laughs> All right. Dude, my adrenaline is running. <laughs> Our what adrenaline sky doing? high. What are we doing? I'm laughing so hard. We're having so much fun. Oh we gotta rinse our reels off. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. That's freaking cool. Gary actually had to take his waders off and drain them out. There was so much water inside Don't of his waders. Do not do this. It's never worth it. Okay, Gary realized he forgot his hat and his glasses back there. So he's running back there to grab them. I want to get out there and fish around that patch of kelp right there. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Yeah, sandy bottom. This looks sandbar right here. Oh yeah, there's fish here. Oh yeah. Water's a little on the murky side. That does not bother me at all. Look at the sandbar I'm on. Shallow sandbar. Let's pick. You got bit. Gary just got bit. Okay, Gary got a bite. Pitching those Texas rigs right into that structure, right into that kelp. Dude, this spot looks like halibut because it's protected. See where that wave is breaking way out there? Yeah, three eighths of an ounce is perfect for this right here. Moderate current, not too deep. <coughs> The idea is I just want to remain in contact with the bottom here and there. Just feel it and then speed back up and then slow down and then speed up and slow down and speed up. So I'm just kind of touching bottom and going it. Yeah, mixture of sand and rock. Super buddy dude, protected eelgrass. Take a look at this bottom structure. Almost half expect to step on a halibut. Slow, low and steady. Slow, low and steady. That's what gets the thump. Definitely. This. This is totally, it's got all the signs. The mixture of sand and rocks, the eelgrass, and the protection too. Just get a good idea what the beach looks like here. It's spectacular. Anyone that gets to walk on a beach like this is really lucky. This is where the halibut live. You get rockfish up north, we could get halibut down here. And white sea bass down here too, during the right season. That's what the landing is for. Oh, I live for this stuff. This is it, guys. We're, this is what I came out for to do. I'm hunting this calm, protected pool. It's practically a tide pool. See, the waves are breaking out there on some kind of reef or sandbar. By the time they get in here, they've lost all their energy. They wash into this deep pocket. The bait can come in here and try to rest where it's calm and then the flatfish and the big fish follow them in here and hide behind these rocks and stuff. I just love fishing these protected pockets, casting swim baits into them. Here we go. I'm seeing mussels. I can see the cut is a little to the right of where I cast it, so. I'm gonna wade out onto this reef right here and fish where I see the current ripping out because that's gonna be the deepest spot, the path of least resistance there. There's also a hole in the wave right there and I see some eelgrass in, the, in that hole in the wave. Let's aim for that. The 3 8 ounce extra long shank hook is performing very well today. No snags so far. This is what it's all about right here. Okay, Gary says he got a bite right here. Two bites in a row, tore his tail off. It's gotta be a hell of it. Right in front of me.
And he was right in front of you, huh? Well, I'll keep it right on the Hold it. Oh, cool. Oh, you're on? Keep it. You 100% did. 100% right in front of us. Right in front of us. Nice, 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 nice. He's right there. I need to slow down. That was a bite for sure. That was it. Okay, that's kelp. I'm gonna let it sink. Let it sink again. We're in really close now. Oh! Fish on! Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh! Came off! Fish on! Woohoo! Yeah, baby! Oh! Came off! It came off, it was big! Dang! Right in front of me, guys. Did you see that? Man, that was a big one. Really big. Felt like a halibut. I think we gotta go extra slow today. For some reason, maybe they're short biting. Gary got his tail bit off, and that fish just popped off on me. Maybe he was just barely hooked. That's why those extra long shanks are really important, man. If the extra long shank can't get them, nothing can. All right, we're, we're in close now, right in front of me. Dragging super duper slow. Fish on! Oh! Short biting, we should use the jerk bait. I think there's halibut right in front of us. Oh, you on? Oh, Gary's on. Gary's on a big fish. Woo! Calico. Gary's on a nice fish. Feels like a halibut. Calico. Oh! That was a nice fish. So just keep letting it sink. That's really the name of the game, is just trying to get it down to the bottom. Because every time it comes over some kelp, it drapes over the kelp. It could come all the way to the surface as it comes over that kelp. Then you gotta pause and let it sink straight down. So keep pausing, keep letting it sink. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to retie. That's too bad. Oh, I got it, I got it back. All right, let's check it out. Always check your hook tip. Yeah, that's nice and sharp. Anytime you snag, check your hook, hook tip because you don't know if you snagged on the nose of the bait or on the hook of the bait. In this case, it was the nose of the bait because that hook tip is razor sharp still. I think this is the best spot, yeah? Four bites here? Yeah, I got one, you got one. Oh, and you had two more. Oh! Grassy! Little grassy rockfish. All right, we've got a little grassy rockfish. Okay, I literally just flipped the line out in front of me. I was bringing it in real slow, and bam, he grabbed it right in front of me. You can see he's barely hooked in the lip there. See that hole right there, a hole in the waves where there's no foam? I want to go work that area. Oh, baby. That's what I like right there. There's one for the Santa Barbara collection. 